One of the most important thing which we need to do while working with Express is to create a RESTful API. If I'll do anything like a RESTful API, I'll have to go through a number of operations which my application has to do whenever a client request is done. So for that particular task, we are going to use so many things like HTML page, CSS file, JavaScript, images and so many things. To create a proper structure here, we are going to do the scaffolding. Like here, whenever I'll talk about scaffolding, it's something like creating a skeleton for your web applications where you can put a specific element at a directory. So for doing that, we have a number of modules here like Yemen and Express Generator. So let's see practically how can I do the scaffolding using these modules. Now to start the scaffolding using the Express Generator module, first of all, we'll have to install the Express Generator. As maybe in every second application, I would require a Express scaffolding, so I can also install this Express Generator globally. To install it globally, I don't need to go to a particular path. I can install it from anywhere, like npm install express hyphen generator and then hyphen g so as soon as we'll run this this express generator will get installed in my machine globally and then in any other application i can make a use of it so now since you can see it is done let's choose your directory where you want to create a new project using the express scaffoldings so i already have created in e drive this node and express app so right here inside I will create my pro, uh, this new project all right and to launch that scaffolding what you can do is you can run the express command as you can see right now this particular directory is blank and there is nothing inside so far so let me ex execute the express command here and as soon as I'll done this now you can check like this is all created these all files and folders have been created alright so let's go physically to check that and here in this node express app you can find all these directories and files have been created so every file has a every folder has a different content inside if I'll go to the bin you'll find a file called triple W this file will be used now as the starter file in the public you will have three folders like images javascript style sheets whichever you want to put in a, as a public thing you can define them all here all right you can put all the images js files and style sheets which you want to use throughout your application routes will help us to provide the routing thing all right for example, we have already seen in the express introduction like we can make a different type of get requests. So you can define them all here in the different or in the same JS file. In the views, you can put all your web pages right here. You can see the extension like dot jade. Dot jade is uh, like a substitution for the HTML where you can remove the tag thing, the angular bracket thing from the HTML and can make your page more compact. As you can see here, h1, h2 are not any tags here, but they've been used just as a keyword, all right? So it is not compulsory to go for Jade. If you find with HTML, just continue with that. And a couple of files like package.json, which we have already familiar with, and app.js which is a main file for this application here you can see like we have used uh, several uh, modules like path express surfair icon morgan cookie parser body parser all right so obviously we will not be having all these modules right now in my application we will do the installations later on uh, let's see what else is there now you can see like here we have used so many app.use all these are the middlewares 
all right we have already made a discussion of middlewares like these will be the intermediate processing means when you will do the actual request these things will be executed before the actual request got processed then after that there are some different handlers for the development environment for production environment all right and then later you can export this one as a module called app all right now uh, let's come to the bin where you will find a triple w file which will be as a startup and you can see that here we have used that app which we just exported in the app.js apart from that we also have the http module to start it as a server by default now it will take 300 as the port number if you want to change you can change it all right and uh, here uh, you will find like so much error handling and the event listening thing is being done all right so whenever we'll start it now here we will uh, make a request for this triple w as this one is the startup for my application here whatever code you have done in the app it's being here and then using this http we can create a server right here all right so this is the line which will start up your server so we'll come here whenever we want to start something all right so uh, all this scaffolding is done all the required directories have been created and now you can obviously make some uh, more folders all right more directories more files as per your requirement but the basic structure is now done right here all right so see let's uh, let's see how we can make the execution of this particular file so right here you can do npm start and as soon as you will say start it will show you some errors why these errors are coming because uh, yep yeah, because so many modules have not been installed yet all right but how will you come to know that which all modules are yet to be installed for that information we will come to package.json file all right and here you can see like dependencies here all the dependencies have been uh, specified like body parser cookie parser which you have used inside the app.js file and here itself you can see there is a startup thing where start is a command and whenever you will call this start command npm start internally it will execute node triple w file all right so this is what making triple w as a startup thing all right so firstly let's install all the dependencies before getting continued with the execution so uh, since all the uh, module name has been specified inside the package.json we don't need to install each and every module separately rather what we can do we can just say npm install install oh sorry okay and whichever installation you will do already the they are uh, saved inside the package.json so this hyphen save is not required now all right simply execute this npm install and it will install all the dependent packages right here which is specified in your package.json so now as you can see the installation is done and we are good to start the execution so npm start and here now you see I didn't get any error and your server will get started now so let's open the browser to see uh, how we can make a request so let's come to Chrome here we'll make a request with the port 3000 as we have seen like it is the default port now for us and as soon as we'll do that you see there's a jade page which you can see express welcome to express all right so for a rapid application development you can definitely go for this express generator to do all the scaffolding and then you can do the required changes to create your API stop